Nmap is the most popular network discovery tool, and it is oftentimes one of the first tools used by penetration testers as it can lead to information on discovering hosts, finding open ports, devices running on a system, and even detecting security vulnerabilities. Now, Nmap has a ton of functionality, but let's cover the basics of my favorite quick and easy scan. If you're using Kali Linux, you can simply just type in Nmap as it will be pre-installed. If you're not using Kali Linux, please see the description on how to install. So to start, I like to do an Nmap-P. The P will denote the ports that you're looking to scan. We can specify individual ports, we can even put a range of ports. However, I like to start off just scanning all ports with a dash P dash. The next one, we can do a dash and a capital T. The T will denote the timing. Now the timing can be anywhere from one to five. So one being very slow and five being very quick. The benefits of scans one and two is that you'll be very stealthy and you won't be picked up by intrusion detection systems, right? So it's a very stealthy scan where four and five are much quicker scans. However, they're very noisy and very loud. However, the time is drastically reduced and three is kind of right in the middle. I like to go with four. It's quick, simple, easy. So we're going to leave it at T4 and we're going to move on to a dash capital A. The capital A is absolutely phenomenal because it does encompass OS detection, version detection, script scanning, and trace route. Through this one command, you're encompassing four other Nmap commands. That is phenomenal, and this is why I always use the dash A. The next part is we can specify the IP address that we're looking to target, and I'm using an IP address on Hack the Box here. Keep in mind that you do need permission to scan anything, make sure you do have written permission. And we can simply hit enter. Before I hit enter, I just like to mention, some people might have an issue where it'll say host seems down or blocking ping probes. This can be fixed by using a dash PN. Now how Nmap works is it probes to see if a host is up or alive. And if a host is blocking Nmap's pings, it will seem down to Nmap. Therefore, the dash PN will tell Nmap that, hey, you know what? Treat all ports and hosts as alive so we can still do this investigation on the hosts and you will get results. So we can hit enter. Here's the results of Nmap. Nmap is currently showing us two open ports, TCP port 21 and TCP port 80. Nmap helps point us in the right direction and it can signify potential weaknesses we can look to exploit. In this case, it can be perhaps port 21, maybe it can be port 80. As we can see, it gives us information on the version, the service, file transfer protocol. We can see that it's currently running an HTTP website server and it gives us a version name and number as well. Now, I'm not going to go over all the details. I'm going to make a second video on how to read Nmap results and take action on them. But all you need to know for now is this provides a basis for all the necessary information needed to enumerate and perform a penetration test. And this is why Nmap is used as a first tool for almost every penetration tester. Thank you.